Um, I, I know a lot of people have asked about, inquired about um, Lily's status. Um, Lily uh, sustained a, a lower leg injury and she won't be uh, participating uh, um, in any NCAA tournament games, but she will be with us. Right. And and that, that's probably all I'm gonna um, address regarding Lily. So let's, uh, let's talk about the tournament. All right, Coach, we'll start with David and then we'll go to Joe. Hey, Don, thanks for doing this. Obviously, tough news about Lily, but it's not the first time you guys have had to go into a tournament with a major injury. Uh, the last time in 17, when you lost to Lena, you went to the, the lineup to play a little more speedy. I know Lily kind of came off the bench, but is a speedier lineup maybe putting another guard in there to start an option going forward? Um, I mean, we, we've been working a couple of things uh, throughout the week, uh, and – uh, we've been pleasantly surprised with some of the changes that we'll make. Um, we'll, we'll leave it at that, and you know, we'll we'll uh, you know, once we play Mercer, we'll unveil what the, what that is. Joe and then Greg. Don, I do want to talk about the tournament just with Lily. Just what was your conversation just like with her? I just know she has to be devastated knowing that she can't compete and run with you guys in the tournament. Um, I mean, anytime a young person, you know, the, the, the game that they love is snatched away from them um, for, for injury or any other reason, they're devastated. But I'll tell you this, Lily took it, you know, much like you, you see Lily out there playing out there on the floor, um, super energetic, took the onus off of her and put it back on the team. Um, and she's going to, you know, she's going to, she's going to be an unofficial uh, coach on our, on our sidelines and she's going to get, our players to play at maximum effort, um, just like she did. Greg and then Reggie. Don, just looking at your regional, what do you make of it? Uh, what are your first impressions? And and does this tournament feel? I know we we talk a lot of your a lot about parity all the time, but does this feel about as wide open as a tournament as you can remember? Um, I mean, it. I I like our region. I would have said that if we were any in any other region. Um, yeah, the tournament feels wide open. Um, that's why we feel good about where we are. Um, and we feel good about where we, you know, where we left off a, a week ago. Um, and, you know, no matter, no matter who you play, you're going to have to play, you know, and it's, you know, it's, it's the first round, it's the second round is, you know, as you advance into this tournament, it gets harder and harder, you know, no matter if it's, parity field or not it, it just gets harder your preparation um, is the same but it just seems like it's always an uphill battle uh, for you know for us anyway so we'll 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 look at that what look at that way no matter you know who we're playing we, we got an uphill battle that you know we feel good, real good about and and we control our our own destiny if we don't beat ourselves up you know I like I like what we're doing out there on the floor Reggie and then Mitch Obviously, in this day and age of COVID-19, do you go out there knowing you've met a big hurdle by just being, being able to go to the tournament, also kind of holding your collective breath and everything goes smoothly? I mean, we're, we're super excited. I mean, I was excited just to be in a room with our players to finally, you know, some of our younger players to finally see our name um, across the, the screen and, you know, to see them uh, super excited, you know, and they don't really get too, too excited, but I, I know that their eyes lit up when they saw South Carolina um, across the, you know, across the screen. And also, <laughs> you know, Aaliyah kind of whispered a question um, in my direction. And she's like, you know, so does that, does that mean we play, um, I think it's Florida State and, and Oregon State. So I was like, yes, that, that means if, you know, we take care of business, and we get to the second round, that's who we'll play. And, and so it's, it's kind of cool because this is the, this is her first time going through it and she's her mind is spinning and she she's trying to see the big picture and I I love that about her. Mitch and then Keith. Coach, you talk about their mind spinning and getting this opportunity finally, especially uh, not getting the chance last year. Um, now you know we talked about it in the SEC tournament. For them to come out here in this first game, um, how much is the onus on just making sure that flip is switched and not having to worry about having to do it in the second half and make adjustments, but being the ones to be the aggressors coming out? 
Well, I mean, that is the plan. But it, it, again, it's, it's their first time going through an NCAA tournament game. So I'm, I'm sure they'll have some jitters, but um, hopefully it won't be for long and we can jolt them back into being um, who we were, um, you know, when we won the, the SEC tournament championship. Pete and then Cam. Hey, Coach, congratulations on being a number one seed. So with Lily out, um, I'm not asking you to reveal anything, but just how has, you know, L.A., Anaya Russell, and Destiny Littleton, how have they uh, been in practice? And have you seen, you know, outside of L.A., anything that gives you more confidence uh, in the next players up? Because clearly – you know, it's been a short bench in crunch time. And so how do you view it at this point in preparations for the NCAA tournament? Um, let, let's just say that, I mean, they, they all are in a great place. Um, LA, Destiny Littleton, um, Anaya, they're, they're all in a great place. They, they understand um, who we lost and the contributions that Lily gave us. Um, they want to do their parts and, you know, but they can't be Lily. <laughs> they can't, they just can only be themselves and they can only do what they're good at. And that's all we, we ask them to do is do what you're good at, not anything more or less or imitate or emulate, just be good with, with what you're at and just be ready when your numbers call. Cause I'm, you know, I'm quite sure all of their numbers will be called in the tournament. They just have to be ready and be productive. Cam and then Joe. Coach, you kind of talked about a lot of these players not having been through this before. Does that make it a little bit easier that this tournament's going to look so much different than any of the tournaments in the past? And how have you kind of had those conversations with your team about what to expect in the bubble format and it being kind of a pandemic tournament and how different it's going to be? Uh, I mean, we we really haven't talked a whole lot. I mean, we talked a whole lot about what we're, what are we bringing? You know, what are we packing? Um, um, they, you know, our every time we, we went on the road, it was a bubble-like setting. So... Um, it, it, it'll probably be just heightened 10 times more because um, really they don't even want you to come out of your rooms and everybody gets their own room. So for, for us, um, we're going to do things that will, will hopefully get them in a place where um, that we can have a little bit of fun with them being on their, in their rooms, you know, just having, you know, certain things delivered to their room, um, set outside their room, they open it up, they're there. So we're going we're gonna to do some Zooms. We're going to do some, um, you know, some, some exercise Zooms. We're going to, you know, we're going to take 11 basketballs, make sure they have balls, just to touch the balls, hold the balls, you know, shoot the balls, dribble the balls in their rooms. Um, just so, you know, the quarantining part won't be such a drag. We don't want them lying in bed for, you know, 16 hours. Um, we want them active and doing things and, you know, getting their minds right for um, what we're faced with. So a lot of interaction will be virtually. Um, so we will look forward to that. But, you know, bottom line, this team wants to play, you know, so they're going to do what, what we're asking them to do um, to play the, the, the game that they love and during the most exciting times of their, their to college careers. Joe and then Brandon. Don, I know this is a new team but is there a sense maybe of unfinished business because of what happened last year due to the pandemic? And does that play a role at all in the mindset? Like, Hey, we're here. This is where we wanted to be last year. Let's go finish what we started a year ago, even though it's a new season, a new team. And I understand all that. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think that's the sentiment of, of this team. <laughs> I think uh, this team's identity is a lot different than last year's team. So uh, this team is just continuing trying to figure it out. Last year's team really knew, you know, what our potential was and, and how to cater to that. This year, we're just trying to figure it out, and they're just trying to um, find their way, just play their best basketball on each day and not look ahead and just be in the moment. Last year's team, you know, we had a player that could, you know, that could see the big picture, you know, two of them actually, and, and Ty and Kiki, because they had been all the way to the – to the championship. So they had an idea of what, what it took to get back there. And they didn't wait until the tournament to do that. They did it during the year. Um, and this team is, uh, 
is doing it during the year, but they have no idea. You know, they have no idea about how to win a national championship. And, um, and we just have to bring them on along. Hey, Dawn, just what was your reaction to Gino testing positive? And does that kind of serve as a reminder that even though you're having the tournament this year, that the pandemic is still going on? Um, I mean, super sorry to hear that, that Gino um, tested positive. Um, and it just continues to raise awareness. No one's safe. You know, everybody's got to follow protocols. Even when you follow protocols, you know, you know, you reduce, you reduce, you surely don't prevent it. Um, so, you know, I, I hope he is, um, symptom, symptom free, like the, the articles are saying, and he'll, he'll find his way, um, reunited with his team in, in San Antonio in the, in the near future. Matt and then Pete. Don, you spoke about how mentally taxing this season has been and how challenging it's been, not even the regular season, but the tournament was mentally tough as well. How much do you feel about whoever wants to win this NCAA tournament this year, especially is going to be the one who is mentally the toughest through it all? I do. I, I do think that, you know, there's a, there's a physical aspect to, to winning and um, NCAA tournament championship um, to the, the physical, I mean, the mental part of it, you know, I thought, you know, in 2017, when we, when we won the national championship, um, we had a little bit of both. Um, but when you're hit with an injury, like, you know, we were with uh, Elena Coates, you know, it rocks you a little bit, you know, and then you get back to your equilibrium and, and, and figure out, okay, how, you know, how? And I, I thought we were wounded at that point, but, you know, we weren't done. I mean, we had people that fought and I, I kind of feel that same thing um, with this team and that, you know, do we, do we feel bad that Lily's hurt? Absolutely. Um, but then we got to get back on that horse and say, okay, let's figure some things out. Let's, you know, how do we, you know, how do we, how do we get her contributions into other people as quickly as possible? So it was great to, you know, have this, this is week of practice in which, um, we got some, we moved some pieces around and, um, and I, you know, I, I hope, you know, with a couple of more practices that will continue to, you know, attack and look good doing it because it, it did not look bad at all. Um, but we still got to play some basketball games for us to, you know, prove that, you know, it can, it can certainly help us win a national championship. Pete and then David. Uh, hey, John. Um, given COVID, just asking, is everybody healthy, safe right now? And what are the plans? for when, when, how soon are you guys going to Texas to get in that bubble down in San Antonio? Um, everybody's healthy. Um, uh, we got a, you know, we got a message from our trainer. We got all negatives today. That's seven days in a row, which is, which is pretty good. We leave tomorrow at nine o'clock, 9 a.m. David and then Cam. Dawn, you've been used to playing the first two games at home at CLA for the past few years. How strange is it going to be to, you know, be out in Texas and walking out on a strange floor? Um, I, I'm, I'm going to be glad just because we're, we're able to, we're able to play, um, you know, but um, we, you know, we'll, we'll try to bottle up what we've been used to playing in the first two rounds. Um, we'll bottle up, uh, you know, what it, what it sounded like in Greenville uh, last week. Um, but most importantly, you know, everybody has been, in a situation where they they played in front of very little fans. So I, I don't think that would be, you know, a factor in us playing well or not. Uh, we're used to it. You know, we got to be the better team uh, whenever, you know, whenever the games are. Cam and then Reggie. Coach, I'm not sure how much film you've watched on Mercer this year, but I was just curious what your level of familiarity is with that program and what Susie's been able to do uh, with that team over the past couple of seasons. I haven't seen Susie this year, you know, I'll let you know a little bit more tomorrow. Um, but Susie, you know, great soul, great soul, great, great coach. She, she texts me, you know, every now and then. So, you know, we do have a, some familiarity with each other off the floor. Um, haven't seen them, haven't seen them play uh, this particular year. Reggie, and then we'll wrap it up with Pete. 
Uh, just a little bit about Olivia Thompson, Lexington kid, who obviously did not get a chance to participate in the tournament last year. Just how neat of a thrill is it for you to watch somebody like that who went to your program, obviously, as a, as a walk-on? Um, I mean, it's, it's super cool, you know. You know, when we've had, you know, local great players on our team, we've, we've, done, we've done well. Looking forward to, to live, living out, you know, our dream of playing in the NCAA tournament. But um, it's a great Thompson family. It's a great family that, that's been very, very supportive of her. And I'm sure they're going to make their way down to, to San Antonio. And the last question to Keith. Hey, Coach. Um, so, ideally, you've had time off. Everybody's got fresh legs now. Um, but with the staggering days of the tournament, are you going to go with a shortened bench? Ideally, how many minutes for Destiny and Zaya? Um, I don't know. We're going to go with winning the game. So, however many, you know, it's do or die. It's not, you know, we can't save anything. There, there are games in between. I mean, there are days in between. So, you know, this team wants to win, um, you know, so we, we got to go with the players that have gotten us here, playing as many minutes as they have um, throughout the game. If we're able to find somebody that's that, that will, will step in and, and give us some quality minutes, I, I, I really don't mind that. It only helps our basketball team. But I, I do think that we'll have some players that, that will, will hold serve and, and, and help us. I, I, I really do believe that. I just think that, you know, we, we've, uh, we've given them their roles again. Uh, we explained it to them. Um, I, you know, coming out of that meeting, we probably had some of our best practices. That's, that's everybody, just having a better understanding of what we need them to do. Um, and, and it's great. It's great. It's great. Every, every now and then players need reminders of, of uh, what their role is. Um, Cause it, you know, I, and I, I tell you, like I told them, you know, there aren't going to be, you know, players out here just going all of a sudden score 30 points. You know, it happens few and far between. I'm saying it's never going to happen, but you know, usually the players that have produced will produce and you may get a bump here or there from somebody else. Um, and we're hoping, we're hoping that's us. Um, but we also have to stick with the knowns.